Hey, this is Mr. Roche. We are here doing the Pente game. Um, what we did in class is we set up a Pente main and we set up a Pente game board. And I think what you want to do is you want to look at like um, the overview of like what's going on. Like, like always try to think about the big picture when you're doing a, a, a thing like this because this is going to be there's some complications, we're going to work on it, but everything's good. But it's actually pretty simple, really. Okay, so we have a class called Pente Main. It creates a J-frame, and it adds um, the Pente board. So, so it has to call up Pente board, which is a J-panel. We made it extend J-panel. And this is going to kind of manage the board, manage the, you know, allow you to play the game, and it's going to draw the, this is This is really sort of the big thing. And since the board's made up of squares, we can actually harness that because they're all kind of the same. So we want some stuff. We want to load the J panel up with um, board squares, which is what we're going to do right now. And the board squares will have like some kind of functionality. Like they'll know that um, whether they're empty or not, and they'll know whether they have a stone or not. And um, you could maybe ask them if they're like you know um, you know attached to anybody else or something like that. There might be ways to 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 use it for strategy and things like that. But basically, what they do is they they know the state of the square and they'll tell you if you maybe clicked on them, something like that. And that's what they're going to do. So so let's get back to it. So that's that's the high level look of it. But it breaks down into code. Okay. So what we've been doing is we have Pente main. Okay. Makes the J frame right, sets the size of it, and then it adds the the board, like just like we did, and um, you know through this statement, and it gets it to go. Okay, and um, we also have Pente game board. Okay, and we like the color square. Okay, which actually might get down move down to um, um, the square. Uh, but let's see, we can do. Um, but basically, what it does is it is it it'll it knows how many board squares it needs, and it knows how many pixels it has. So it can actually make the board square of a certain size. That's that's really what we need to to figure out. So uh, with that in mind, what we're going to do now is we're going to go to the um, third class, okay? And we're going to try to make this board square the square class, okay? So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go here. I'm going to make a new uh, class, and I'm going to call it square. Okay, so it's going to be in there. Okay, pretty generic, and that's actually why I make packages because I'm I'm sure somewhere in here I have other things that are called square and stuff. So, um, what um what I think we need to know is um how big the squares are, right? And it's also going to need to know where the square is going to be, right? So we're going to have to have some information that we're going to keep in terms of the square. And this is like an int. And it's going to need like a board location. So it's going to need like an x loc, okay, and like a y loc, right? Um, so this will give you like kind of like the, the corner position of the um, top left corner position of square. On board. Okay, so that's how you know where the board's going to go. Like these are all going to go in different places. So we're going to kind of make them, and then we'll put them in different places. Okay. And then uh, what we need is the um, square width, with um, which we can um, call it, I guess width, which we can put in. And like it's the height too. It's the same. So we can use this for height and width. Um, yeah. Something like that. I don't know. It seems like a long. So this is called square width. Okay. Okay. Um, we can also we could actually have um, the color coming from main or something like that, but it's already in um, game board. And actually, what we care is we care about the board square color, um, the nice woody color. I actually want that maybe down in, in square. Okay. So um, I might, um, for right now, I'm going to comment this out here and I'm going to put it and move it over here. 
And let's see if that's enough to go with, because all I need is I need a nice, good, woody color. Um, we're also going to need a color for like the, um, there's like a kind of a crosshair color. Um, let's look at that. Um, color, and then let's let's figure out what this is here for a sec. So Philip gives this color, which is uh, this is really woody. Um, actually, I might change this to be more of a yellow or an orange or something like that um, on my board. I'm not sure. Let's see. I kind of like this. I kind of like. I want mine to be bright. So I'm going to take um, this color to be the um, the um, to be the base wood, you know, the wood color. Okay. So I'm gonna, I'm actually gonna swap these. I, I, I do like this. This might be the crosshair color, which I'll leave for that for right now. Um, that looks good. Then this is a nice woody color. So I'll move that down here, and then um, I'm gonna use this tone here. Oh yeah, I gotta get the, get the RGB value of it. So let me pick it here. Um, it's 255-209-26. Okay. Okay, and that's going to be kind of a yellow, you know, more gold. Okay, that's good. So I've got a board square color and I've got a crosshair color, okay? And i got an X look and an S width, okay? And what it has to do is this has to get loaded so somebody's going to have to tell it um, int x location okay it's going to have to tell it a int y location okay and it's probably going to have to tell it the width too i mean it's just it's sort of like this is sort of a slave to this okay and we're going to add other things to it okay um they call it w okay or you could do it like this this might be easier just go like x Y and width. Okay, something like that will work. All right, so you can go x load is x, y load is y, and um, s width equals width. Okay, so that way all the variables here get transferred into class variables, and we can we can use them. Okay, um, what we should do is we can make a private. Let's see if we can do this. Okay. Okay, so that, that's gonna make them um, unseeable to anybody else but us. Okay, but what we can do with them is um, we're gonna make a little um, draw me function right now. Okay, so we'll go public void draw me. Okay, and what it has to get is if you send it like anything anything that draws with Java uses this graphics object. So we need a graphics object. Graphics and we'll send it like cheap. Okay, so somebody's gonna tell us like the drawing wand and it will we'll draw with it. Okay, and we'll just write this up. So it's gonna look like this. And um, what we're gonna do is I gotta organize imports for a second. So we'll go up here. Okay. And that gets the graphics part. And then what we're going to do is we're just going to do this. We're just going to draw like a little fill rectangle. Okay, so we're going to say um, we're going to go g dot set. Let's see what shows up. Set color. I like that. Okay, so we'll do that. G dot set color. And what we're going to do is we're going to set it to the board square color. And then what we're going to do is we're going to draw a big filled rectangle. So we're going to go G dot fill rec. Okay. And the place we're going to start from is the X loc and the Y loc. And the width is square width and it's square height. Okay. So they're both square width. So we'll draw this like sort of square. Okay. Then what we're going to do is we're going to draw like a little crosshair on it. So we're going to say G dot set color. So that was easy. Set color, whoopee. Go for this. And then what I want is crosshair color. So we're gonna change the change the pen basically. Okay. So this draws um draws a solid square. Okay, and then this draws like the little crosshair. 
that we saw like when we played the game and stuff like that. So we need this sort of crosshair. Now, what that's going to be is going to be like a little line. So we're going to say g dot um, draw line. Okay, and it's going to be. Let's see. It's going to be. Basically, it has to start at the x lobe plus. We'll do this. Um, uh, s width divided by two. Okay, so it's going to go halfway through the line, right? Okay. Then what we're going to do is uh, the y location is still y loc. Okay. And it's going to go, this is like from top to bottom. So I'm going to draw like a line that goes from here to here. Okay. And it's going to look like this. It's going to say, um, and it's going to go to x loc. Same place. It's going to be the same x location. This is going to be like this. And then the y loc is going to be y loc plus the um, plus the um, square width. Okay, so that's going to get me a line that's going to go like it's going to make a little box and it's going to go all the way down from top to bottom. Okay, so let's try this out. Okay, and then you guys are going to make the other crosshair. Make Okay, but we'll make one, okay? And that'll be in a second video. Okay, so so you get this. Okay, this is all we need for the square so far. We'll have to go back in here and do work on the square. But this will work, and uh, we'll take it from there. So we'll look at this for a sec, okay? And then we'll um, we'll get the other crosshair.